And what is also noteworthy, Christine, are these brand new satellite images released just minutes ago by Washington think tank CSIS showing not a mock-up, but an actual aircraft carrier that China is almost finished building in Shanghai that has technology equivalent to U.S. aircraft carriers. This would be China's third aircraft carrier. The other two are using outdated Soviet technology, including a kind of sea, ski slope runway that uh, requires a lot of fuel and only certain planes can actually take off from it. This new aircraft carrier, according to these satellite images, uses the catapult that is the mainstay of America's 11-strong aircraft carrier fleet. A catapult can push planes into the air with a lot less fuel burn. There's a wider variety of planes that can be brought on an aircraft carrier with this technology. Experts are saying that it is pretty much on par with what the United States is using, perhaps even more advanced than some of America's older carriers. But of course, America has been using these things for decades. This would be China's first. So there's still a lot of operational knowledge that China just doesn't have, which is why an expert, a military expert here in Taiwan told me it's still going to take quite a while for China to catch up. How long is it going to take for China's Navy to pose a credible threat to America's Navy? I think they still need to a lot of time. Because the, if you want to become a global Navy, the first you have the outside the base, global the base. Are we talking years? Are we oh. talking decades? Oh, yeah. Years, I think they still need more than 20 to 30. 20 to 30, 20 30 years. To 30 years.